In this video we're gonna see how to create a table of contents in a LaTeX file. So when we start building a bit longer documents, so for example instead of writing an article we are now writing a report, first thing is we can change the class of the document here in the very first line of our file. So up to now we were working with article class and we can write now a report class. When we are working with reports, you see that the format of the PDF changes a bit. When we build the PDF, there's a separate page for the title and the authors, a separate page also for the abstract, the same abstract that we had before, and then the rest of the document comes in a separate page. And also when we have longer documents, we are not separating them in sections anymore, we're separating it in chapters. So inside the chapters we can have sections and subsections and we can start having new chapters as well. And all this can come here in our document. We can also have uh, figures and tables and all the other things we've seen before. So when we have this longer document it's interesting for us to have a table of contents to show right in the beginning where everything else is. And for us to do that, it's very simple in LaTeX. There's a special command for that, which is table of contents. And we will put or we will place this command right where we want this table of contents. So for example, I want it here just between the abstract and the first chapter. So after the abstract and the first chapter. So let's build this PDF and see what happens. So let's create created here as I wanted after the abstract and before the first chapter another section called contents and it is listing for us all the chapters, sections and subsections in the sequence that they are in the text and also it's listing for us the page where each of these things begin. And we can go on and check that the first chapter is starting at page 2. And these two sections as well are in page 2. Subsection 1.2.1 is in section 3. Is in page 3, sorry. Here it is. And the second chapter starts at page 4. So there we go. Very simple to do. We can also have a uh, list of figures. If you have many figures in your test and your text and you want to have a page showing where all of them are, you can issue a command list of figures. Let's build that and see what happens. So after the table of contents there's now a list of figures and it shows the number of figure and the page where this figure is and it shows the caption of this figure. So we can go and check that the first figure is in page 4 and the second figure is in page 5. And what, hap what shows up there in the list is exactly the caption that we chose for these figures. It might happen that the name of your chapter is actually very long. So if you have a very long name for your chapter, something like this, When we build this PDF, we'll see that in the uh, table of contents, sometimes it happens that we need to build the PDF more than once for it to show up right. You see that it doesn't look very nice because it spans to another uh, line and everything. So there is a way to go around this, which is to have a short name and a long name for chapters, sections, and it also works for captions of figures and tables. So we can say something like this. And this short name is what will show up here in the contents, on the table of contents. And the long name is what will show up here in the text itself. So let's build that to see. 
we can see that now in the table of contents we have the short name which is in between brackets here and the full name or the long name comes here in the chapter heading itself. 